Because he was asking me, like, the plant wasn't showing symptoms of nitrogen deficiency. No. And he was telling me his test, and I was like, well, well we're, what I do is when I do that tissue test, that tells me where our upper limit is of yield. So let's just say it's 3.1. So it should have enough, quote unquote, nitrogen to get to 310. So nitrogen is not your limiting factor, is what I. Okay. It was, it was the way I was trying to. It wasn't trying, pounds, it, it was no, bushels. Okay. It was bushels. So misunderstanding yeah. on my part. Yeah. But it's, it's one of those things like I've seen some fields that have a 2, a 1.7. And they and this is dry land. Yeah. And they still crank out 160, 170 bushel corn. Yep. You know, so I use that number to tell me, okay, what's my yield goal? If your yield goal is, you know, if it is 300, well, then you got to keep that tissue above three. Okay. Okay. Now, with that being said, there's a fine line too in the sense of what time of year is it? Because I usually do that at R2 is okay. when I use that determination. Earlier in the season, you actually you want that number to be higher than that. Uh, yeah. The way I see it is a is a percent higher. So if you're shooting for 200 bushel, you need to have it above three throughout all vegetation. 